Uh, hello everybody, uh, today we're going to make this car paint shader so that you can achieve this kind of results and without further ado, let's start Okay, so before we start uh, if you're working with a Unity version that's below 2020.2 uh, you will have to use the, the HDRP in order to achieve these results as the shader that we are going to be using it is going to use clear coat, which is only available on the HDRP, but is also available on the URP from the Unity version 2020.2. So let's start. Okay, so as I told you, I am working with the HDRP. And now what I am going to do is right click, create a shader and this time we're not going to create a PBR shader as we are going to use the clear code that comes by default with the HDRP so we're going to go to shader HDRP and we're going to choose lead graph and I'm going to name this car paint shader I'll double click it I'll maximize this and now this is going to be very quick and fast as it is kind of easy to make it so first of all I want to create the flakes that cars have so in order to do that I am going to use a Voronoi texture and with this Voronoi texture what I am going to do first is going to output this into a power node because we may have some uh, kind of very strong effect effect of the flakes and we are going to be able to control this through this node uh, what I am going to do next is set this to something like 500 and as you can see this looks very noisy and I am going to connect this straight up into the smoothness so let it out for some time come on share compile <laughs> yeah nice uh, as you can see, this is what cars have, and it's like kind of metal that is kind of shattered into pieces and mixed with other materials. So basically, we're going to turn the metallic up to one, and as you can see, this is starting to look like car paint. And aside from that, what we are going to use now is a clear coat mask. I am going to set this to a very high value like 0.9 and you won't see any changes on the main preview I don't know why this happens but what you can do is first of all save the share and after that maybe you can grab this let my computer load oh there you go if you, clear, if you click on the gear icon the clear code is going to start to compile I don't know why this happens in this way, but it's maybe a bug, or I don't know what else could be. As you can see, everything is so glitchy, which I don't know why happens, but what I'm going to do is save. And I guess with that, it's just going to go away. Let me maximize and minimize this, and there you go. Now we're back to normal. And as you can see, now the clear code works. As I increase it, let me just remove this node so that you can see what the clear code does and basically clear code is another layer on top of the roughness layer so for example if you turn the roughness down to zero but turn the clear code mask up to one it is going to reflect and it is going to have a second layer which is going to be the smoothness so as you can see if I turn this up to zero oh sorry if I turn this up to one sorry yeah it is zero zero it is still going to have reflection because of the clear code and as i increase it the reflection decreases but if i increase it the second layer of reflection acts so that is what car paints are made of and now with this connected again i am going to use a gradient for the color and you will see why in a moment i am going to use input gradient sample gradient and now I am going to choose a Fresnel effect and I want to achieve the kind of color that car paints have on the edges 
which is very clear and in the center is very obscure or the opposite and you'll see what I mean right now so for example if I choose this gradient you'll see that the outer parts are kind of very dark but the inside part is very blue very bright sorry so that is why I, what I want to chip if you want to see how this acts on the carping you can click on the darker part and you'll see that as I change the color the edges change as well so that's what I want and I am going to connect this straight up into the base color and with that in place what I want to do now as you can see it looks more like like car paint now but before that uh, we may have some stretchiness problems due to the fact that the mesh is not entirely, uh, how would you say, proportional to the size of the car. So in order to fix that, what I am going to use is a position node. And I am going to change this from world to object. And I am going to input this into the UVs. And this will make all the stretchiness go away so that it adapts to the mesh of the car. So let it compile and there you go. Now we have a car paint shader. What I am going to do is save this. I'm going to minimize this. And now I am going to go up into my scene. This is the car as you can see. And I am going to create a new material, create uh, material where are you I can find you here you are and I am going to call this car paint underscore mat and now I am going to choose the, sh the shader that we have just created which is car paint shader and if I now apply this you will see that we got these flakes that cars have I know it's very small but that's how it looks in cars and i like a lot this effect i'm going to apply it in the entire car so one two three there you go and up here as well and there you go that's how you make a car paint share car paint material if i hit play you're going to see that we achieve those flakes that i love and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And I hope I can see you in the next one. Bye-bye.